Hello and welcome to Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will learn how to calculate the pay rate based on the time somebody has worked. And we will also look at how to calculate the downtime cost based on the amount of time that system was down and the rate per minute. To follow along with me, make sure that you have a copy of this file downloaded using the link in the video description. We have three worksheets in this workbook. See it, do it and CTC calculation. CTC calculation is a bonus worksheet where I will demonstrate how you can calculate somebody's CTC based on the hourly rate and go backwards that is based on yearly rate look at the hourly and weekly rate of somebody. Let's begin. To start let's place our cursor in D3 cell and press equal to on the keyboard. Now to calculate the payment of this resource that is based on hourly rate and the time spent I will simply multiply the hourly rate with the time spent and press equal to on my keyboard. Oops, looks like the calculation is incorrect because $15 into 14 hours is not 8.75, it must be $210. So there is something wrong. This is a part of 24 hour set. So I will have to multiply this set with 24. So I will enclose this in the brackets and multiply it with 20. And press enter. Press equal to, there we go. We have the perfect rate calculated now. To calculate the rates of other resources, just drag this down by holding the drag handle. And there we go, we have the rates calculated. Similarly, here when we are calculating the downtime, there is a slight variation. We will do the same thing, that is, we will enclose this rate per minute into the minutes of time and multiply it with 24. But that's not the rate. That, that's not the actual calculation. To get the actual downtime, I'll have to enclose this entire set into the brackets and multiply it with 60 because we are talking about minutes. So the set of hours into minutes. There we go. So that's the actual cost of the downtime of 40 minutes when the rate is 0.84 dollars. To calculate the other downtime, simply drag this down and you shall have the rates properly calculated. Now, I request you to go ahead and do some practice using the do it sheet. Here you have the time spent, hourly rate and the payment section that is for you to work and similarly the downtime. Now let's go to CTC calculation sheet. Here I have hourly rate. I simply need to change the hourly rate and you can see the weekly and yearly rate gets calculated. And here if I just enter the yearly rate, you can see the hourly and weekly rates are showing up. What is happening here? All I'm doing is I am multiplying this cell with 40 in this cell. And similarly, I am multiplying this value with 52 in this cell to get the yearly rate. To get the weekly and hourly rate based on yearly rate, I'm dividing the same set with 52 in weekly rate. That is 52 weeks are there in a particular year. Similarly, in a week we have 40 hours. So I'm dividing this set with 40 to get the hourly rate. I hope you find this video lesson very helpful. From the next video, we will start learning about the conditional functions of Excel. So make sure that you watch the next episode. Also, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications to get the updates from my channel. Thank you and have a lovely day. Until next time.